Hey guys, my name is Sam here, and I'm here for another Shippin' Naruto Shippin' Ultra Ninja Blazing video, and today I'll be making some predictions on what could be coming for the fourth year anniversary for this game. Last year we had, for third, for third year, we had Obito versus Kakashi. In this game, there's two types of ban units and banners, which is PvE versus PvE, PvP units. Sometimes they can be used for the other one, but usually it's like, it's like that. And the, usually the main attraction for year third anniversaries or anniversaries in general are the Blazing Fest, which are the PVE units for the game. So like Kakashi and Obito are, are were like the main faces for year three. But I think it's gonna be changing this year. There's gonna be two types of banners, which could be the main focus of the anniversary. Like for the Golden Week, they introduced Seven Star Ninja Festivals, which introduced Seven Star Naruto, who was definitely and like in this picture I made Naruto much bigger than Jubito because Everyone's hyper Naruto. He was the main focus. Everyone can remember Naruto, and that's it. So I'm thinking for this year, they might actually try to make Seven Star Ninja Festival the main attraction. So this gives more opportunities for lesser hype units to get a chance to be in and, and within to be within the anniversary for the Blazing Fest, or they could just make both of them really hype, which is cool. Usually, the Seven Star is good for poor PVE and PVP. In the showcase of Naruto, who is super good for PVP and PVE. So let's look at my first prediction, which is OG Naruto versus OG Sasuke. Um, that's what's it called? I think that's Curse Mark Two versus just Tailed Beast, not Tail Beast. Um, um, Nine Tail Fox cloaked Naruto Rising Gun versus Shidori. I think this has a chance because, like, if it if I if I join this game, I probably wouldn't think because, like, usually Naruto shipping takes the priority in this game over OG Naruto, but I think it will be nice to have OG Sasuke and Naruto get some shine within the main show. Overall, I'll give this a likeliness of 7 out of 10 because this is one of the most hype fights that, even, that I feel like even Naruto will make, even Blazing will actually make a reality. I don't think, actually, and also the criteria is I'm not going to be using old, like, people like Kakashi versus Obito. I think that was, those two were in, within the fight against Kagua. I'm just, I'm not taking the same forms like Final Valley, Naruto and Sasuke of the adult versions back in like the war arc. I'm not gonna be using those because they happen in year two. And I would love to have OG Naruto have more shine. This is my favorite like series over Shippuden. It's not my favorite series. I just like OG over the Shippuden over in my opinion. So I'll I'll be happy to have this fight even though it's not my favorite fight. And this one is probably people will probably be most hyped for Adult Sasuke versus Hokage Naruto. And I think if if there's any if they do a Blazing Fest with actual seven stars, like both seven stars and Blazing Fest, I think this these two will be definitely the ones who will be considered. These guys are probably most likely won't happen due to the fact that Boruto has not been introduced at all, and Boruto is not for three years. But if they if they were to choose two units that were that would definitely headline like a big celebration. These, they're in. I'm sorry, my ear, but it's well. It would definitely be Adult Sasuke and Hokage Naruto. I think if it wasn't for the fact that Boruto has not been introduced, I would probably say this will be a 10 out of 10 idea, most likely gonna happen. But I don't think it will be. I think it's more or less 8 out of 10 or 7 out of 10, most likely due to the fact that they're so hype. And honestly, I would love to see this fight, even though I'm not a big fan of Boruto. Let's look at my next choice, which is Seven Star Mo Momo Shikishi. Um, I don't want to watch much Wall of Naruto, but this guy, I feel like if they're gonna release um, Hokage, Ato, Naruto, and Sasuke, he will probably be. They're probably gonna do Seven Stars and Blazing Fest. I think they're gonna do that. The question is, who will be the main focus? I feel like this guy will probably be. If they do Ato, Sasuke, and Hokage, and Naruto, this guy would not be like the main focus. They will be. But they will definitely release a 7 star Momo Ikishi, and they never released any um, Momo Ikishi Otsushiki. So, what 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 is a big way to for him to debut in this game is to become a 7 star. I think he's if I think he has a less chance of coming in than Hokage and Naruto and Sasuke. But I think if they come, he has a good chance, which is which is why I give him a six or five out of ten chance of becoming a reality in this anniversary. And him becoming the second seven star Ninja Festival will give him a lot of hype. Even though I don't think he's as hype as the other seven seven star Naruto. 
Williams, which is kind of sad because he's pretty cool. I think he's better than Caldwell, in my opinion. For unpredictable, I decided to put Hayden versus Shikamaru. I, I use this design and this PowerPoint just because I don't think they're likely. I think it's actually a 1 out of 10, but I just like Shikamaru. And, and the reason why he's not likely is due to the fact that he just came out in a blazing match. He's definitely not going to be Paul. Paul not coming, but the off chance he does, I want Shikamaru versus Hayden because. That fight was fun to watch, and I will definitely be enjoy them putting this into the game. And I don't think it's possible though. And the big boy himself. I think this will probably if if they do this, this seven star right here. I don't think it, anything will be more hyped except for Naruto versus Hokage Sasuke. This will probably be the most hyped thing in general. This will probably be the most second hyped thing. And if he comes, he'll be the main focus. Unless it's Hokage, Naruto, or Sasuke. Let me turn off my lights here. It's due to the fact that I don't think we have any of this guy in the game. And, and overall, I like Mauro before he's doing six of, six of Sage Paths. Sage of Six Paths. But this, I'm going to admit, this guy is super right Because Infinite Shikunomi is the main part, like main storyline of this show. And the fact that he actually did it is really hype. And Evan would summon for it. And the chance of this guy coming out is most likely... 10 out of 10. I think he has a good chance of coming out at a 10 out of 10. He's the highest one most likely to come as 7 star. Also, for some of these things, I think that they will release it in conjunction with each other. Like, like this, it's not just going to be like, oh, it's only me, only Mara. No, that could be Adult Sasuke and this guy in the same anniversary. So, for the next one, let's go up to the next one, who will be 7 star Boruto, Momo Utkushi Arc. Personally, I don't really like Boruto all much either, so I w it wouldn't be hype. But if they're going to introduce Boruto, they might want to introduce Boruto himself, which is kind of boring to me because Boruto is boring. But I feel like if they're going to do any arc of him, this is the best arc, Momo Ikushi arc, which is my personally my favorite Boruto. No, I don't actually look. No, I think that's my worst one. But overall, Boruto is probably if. They're not probably not going to start that with Boruto, he's just going to be by himself. And overall, I think he's, he has a good chance of coming if they do introduce Boruto. And I think this has a higher chance on the adult Hokage and Snart to do the fact that if they're going to choose any unit from Boruto, they're going to choose him first. I'll give him a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 will likely happen. And off to the next prediction, which is Hinata Hyuga versus Sakura Hina. Personally, I don't really like Sakura, so I'm not going to be too excited for this, but... Um, also, I, I these pictures that I found online, I'll probably put it in the description below if you want to see them. But personally, I would be really hyped for Hinata. I really be, wouldn't be really hyped for Sakura. But personally, I don't think they would do this. I'll give them like a 4 out of 10 chance of happening. But due to the fact that Blazing Fest are, might be overshadowed by 7 star, they might decide why not just do Hinata versus Sakura. And I was up. What Sakura will be probably the best. I feel like they'll probably choose a war arc on Sakura, but I, if I had to choose, I'd choose Sas Sasori Sakura as an anniversary unit, and, the, and for Hanada, I'll choose the last of Hanada. I wasn't really sure which one, but this has, a, this has a really good chance of happening due to the fact that they are the wife of Sasuke and Naruto. This makes them a likely candidate to be an anniversary due to the fact that they're just related to the two main characters in general. And overall, I, I would be hyped up the last Hinata, which is pretty cool. And overall, let's see our next prediction, which is OG Garo versus Naruto. Like I said, OG has, does not have a lot of representation in this game, but if this is a fight that I would like, it would probably be Garo versus Lee, but I don't think that will happen. But Naruto versus Garo is an interesting fight. I just, the Chin I think for any of these, like, like sets of units, they should like always have like a tagline which they want to say like, oh, uh, Kakashi is a reflection and Obito is hollow. I feel like this one has a good one. This one is the the friendly Jinchuriki versus the mad hungry Jinchuriki, which is pretty cool. I think it's, this one's not likely, but I'll give it three out of ten. And I'll say I would be quite hyped for OG not Garu, who which is my favorite Garu in my opinion. So let's look at the next one. I think this is most likely the most likely, one of the most likely ones here, it's Sage Naruto. It's because during the daily login bonus, they showed Sage Naruto, which is, makes me think, oh, he might come out. Like, I'm a new beginner, I don't know how they do things or brand things. But Sage Naruto is pretty hype. I think it's one of my most favorite Naruto's. 
And for this one, I wasn't sure if he's gonna be a Blazing Fest or a 7 star, so I put both. Yeah, I feel like he would be the 7 star for this anniversary, which is 7 star and Sage Naruto. Or they can do a Blazing Fest with Pain Tendo, which is also pretty hype. And I think this, I give this a 10 out of 10, along with Madara, who is really likely to. And let's go to the next one. Oh, wait, no, that's the last one. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are my predictions for all the anniversary likely units that will be coming out. I think P Sage Naruto would def is a 10 out of 10. Pain will probably be like a 7 out of 10 on my opinion, but Sage Naruto is a 10 out of 10. Madara is a infinite infinite Gyomi, of course, 10 out of 10. Borto is a 8 out of 10, I think. Unlikely happening, but he's going to be boring. Hinata and Sakura would be probably a 4 out of 10 if happening, and personally, I would be hyped for a Hinata because Hinata is one of my favorite females in the characters. This one's a 4 out of 10. Hina Hayden vs. Shakamaku is not, definitely probably not going to happen, which is a 1 out of 10. And Momo Ikishi is a decent chance of happening if they introduce Boruto along with these guys. These guys are like 8 out of 10 because they're really hype, and this one will probably be 6 or 7 out of 10. And then OG Naruto vs Sasuke, which is my, geez, like my, like not my favorite. I, I think I just I don't really like this fight in general. It just I just yeah, this one's just it's just hype in general. Like every time I see this fight, I was like, oh, I really want to accept that. I don't really like the fight itself, so it's kind of iffy for me. I think this has a decent chance of happening at six out of ten. And I guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. There's a decent honorable mention, which is another Final Valley like Naruto and Sasuke, which I think is not going to happen, or another Obito with Akashi, but they, I don't think they're. I don't think that will be hype because they just happened in year two and three, and in the same versions of year one. I don't think they will happen again. I don't think they will do them again because that would be kind of boring, but they could. And overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you hope my, I hope you see you guys enjoy my prediction. And I'm actually. I hope, Actually, I probably won't. I don't really care much. Good Overall, the, the inspiration which I would be happy to, I would want to see the most would probably be the units I want to see most is this one. Uh, I'll probably be happy with Hinata, but I don't really want Sakura. I'll put Hinata's one <laughs> and this one. These are the three units that I would love most: Sage Naruto, Adult Hokage, Adult Sasuke and Hokage and Naruto, and. Also, in Madara Tsukuyomi, and, and, and just Hinata, I don't, uh, Hinata is kind of like, if I, we'll probably get soccer, soccer with it, and I don't really like that, but if we can get Hinata by ourselves, I'll be pretty happy overall with that, and I hope you guys enjoy, and see, hope to see you guys.